Welcome everybody to another edition of Dan's Grand Valley Railroad. This week we're going to work on uh, putting the roomette into that uh, building that we built a couple months ago. Uh, I'm shooting this intro after the fact so the building's actually over on the bench but uh, this video is going to be showing how we uh, put the roomette together and installed it. So um, without any further ado, Let's head on over to the bench and get started with that. Okay, I'm here at the bench and I'm working on the roomettes kit, as I promised. Um, when we built this building a couple months ago, I said we were going to put a roomette in it and get it all lighted up and everything. So that's what I'm working on. Now, it's the first roomette I've done, so I'm actually sort of doing it off camera. I've got one room built already. Um, so there's a little bit of a learning curve here. Uh, I got some good advice from uh, TV Toms, uh, and I have a uh, link to his channel in my description, usually always, but I'll link uh, up here as well so you can uh, head over and see his layout. He's also working on a Grand Valley layout. But uh, he has done the roomettes and done some interesting things with them. So he's a good source for information for me. Um, he recommended just some regular Elmer's glue all. Um, nice thing about it is it's tacky. So what I've been doing is um, I'll put it on the seam underneath and just let it dry for about a minute or so and get real tacky. And then fold the paper down and, and sort of just hold it together with my fingers like that and then boom it's pretty dry within a minute or so um so i'm liking that and uh, you can see i've got the the first room done here i'm kind of trying to hold it together so it's square but uh, this is going to install on the first floor and this you can see here says glue to wall so that'll be glued to the front wall here um it'll be like that and then there's a, a front and a back uh upstairs uh, still yet to be put together and then there's a hole in the ceiling for the little uh, just plug lights that come with it there's three so you've got one for downstairs one for each room on the upstairs so uh, that's where I'm at I've got the first room uh, pretty much drying up here and I'm gonna get it test fit uh, get the light glued in and then we'll start on the top floors so uh, again I'm gonna do it off camera and then just give you updates as I go along. Uh, just for my first one of these, um, I feel more comfortable having both hands and being able to read the instructions and everything. So I'll get back to you when we get a little more progress. Okay, I finished the other two rooms. This is the kitchen, I believe goes to the back of the building. And this is the uh, living room area that'll go on the, the top there. So I'm letting them dry now before I do anything else. I the, the manufacturer recommended that you put a bead of glue along the perforated lines. Uh, that'll help to eliminate any light bleed and then also strengthen the whole thing. So I'm going to let everything dry right now and then we'll try fitting it into the building. Okay, so everything's dry and I went ahead and installed the lights in the ceilings. Uh, just a little spot of uh, CA glue just to hold that on there. I did it with the other rooms as well. Looks kind of cool from inside. It looks like a little light fixture up there. So th now I'm ready to uh, pretty much fit them in, make sure everything fits. Uh, before I did, uh, before I do that, I noticed that this set of windows, the middle windows on the upper floor, and this one, uh, there's nothing there. So it's between the two rooms. So uh, living room here, and then the kitchen will be back here. So this set will be between. So what I did, I took some masking tape on my cutting board and just cut some little strips and then installed them inside so there's some window shades. So that's got a window shade partially open. And same thing there. Uh, that way you don't see the backs of the rooms and the wires going down quite as much. Even though this is going to be tucked in between other buildings, 
if I ever decide to move it or use it somewhere else, I wanted that little detail like that. So uh, that's where we're at. Um, I've decided not to put any shades on the front windows because you want to see the, uh, let's see, it'd be this one, the living room. You want to see that unobstructed. Plus, they probably have drapes and they have them open. So um, I decided not to put any shades there. Of course, the bottom will be the storefront. So you want to see in there as much as possible. So I'm going to dry fit it. Uh, probably won't glue it yet. And then uh, test out the lights and make sure there's nothing funky about the light coming through that I need to fix before anything's permanently attached. So that'll be the next step. Okay, so on my available light hub here, I had two ports open uh, that I could use. So because the building has three lights, um, what I needed to do was use this um, just plug port sharing device, which comes in here. So that means the two that are using the port sharing device will be controlled by one control knob here. And so the other one will be on its own. So I decided to have the downstairs, um, which will be the, the business, the storefront, that'll be on its own. Then the upstairs two rooms will be uh, controlled by one. So let's go ahead and flip it on here. There it is. And let's see if our dimmer, there's the upstairs. I'm just dimming it here down on the, uh, the hub. So there's off, all the way bright. So now that should also be the kitchen in the back. And that works. And then the storefront will be on its own right there. And that works. Very cool. Well, that looks pretty, pretty awesome. You can see inside, you can see the counter and the stuff behind and the door and the stuff on the walls. Up here, you can see a little living room and stuff. And then there you can see the kitchen. Pretty cool. And then see there's nothing in the one where I put the shades, nothing there. So it just kind of goes through. And I put a shade on the bottom one too, because that's just going to be wires in there. I just have it taped for now, just sort of taped in there, but pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So this is where the building goes. So what I'm going to have to do, uh, the next big thing is going to be drilling down through the styrofoam all the way down through the plywood and then having these wires come out down below. And I'm going to have to have some sort of extension wires to get them from there all the way out here to the light hub. So that's going to be the next thing I'm working on. I'm going to do like I did with the traffic signals and have a piece of conduit going down. That will uh, lead to its own little problem, and that is that these have about quarter inch plugs on them. So I'm going to have to remove the wires so they'll fit down through the conduit and then reconnect the plugs down below. Um, so that's all part of the next step of getting that all wired permanently. So we'll be tackling that another video, but uh, I just wanted to get this going for you to see how it looks in the building. I'm pretty happy with it. So I will uh, go ahead and just get those glued in permanently and uh, we'll be done with that. All right, I made sure that uh, I was happy with the way that the roomettes looked in there and uh, uh, the way the lights were and everything. So I went ahead and glued them in. I used the white glue. They have some tabs that you glue to the walls. And um, you can see this one, there was a tab back here on the back side. Well, actually on the front side, I should say, that glued to the wall. I put some glue in there before I set this in pushed it down in the back, and then I just took some white glue on a tiny little cotton swab and just went along this edge here all the way along. So that's going to dry now. 
and that'll set it in there real good. I'm just uh, leaving it like that to just set and dry, and tomorrow uh, I'll come back and make sure it's okay. So the next video, we'll work on uh, installing the lights, like I said, drilling down through the, the floor of the layout and down through the bench, get the lights hooked up. I did find I have an extension cable. Uh, it was a set of two. I used one for one of the industrial buildings. So I've got one left and then I've got some uh, ends in this tube here that are cut off on the other end. So those might be useful. Uh, just depends. I'll have to see what I need when I get into it. Uh, we'll start off with uh, drilling the hole, getting the conduit, the straw <laughs> glued in place, and then we'll start with the wiring. So, all right, well, that's all we have time for this week. Appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you next week uh, with, uh, hopefully, we'll get some of that wiring going. Until then, thank you, and take care. We'll talk to you later.